Well, Shep, our surveillance systems just aren't as good. You know, the way countries are detecting these new variants is by genetic sequencing, which is essentially comparing the RNA of different samples of the virus. And according to an international database of coronavirus genomes, the U.S. ranks 42nd globally in sequencing the virus. In the U.K., they've sequenced almost 8 percent of their total cases. Denmark has done 13 percent. In the U.S., we've done 0.3 percent. So while we haven't yet found the South African or Brazilian strains in the U.S., experts say that doesn't mean they're not here. We must be honest and say that the level of comprehensive sequence surveillance thus far is not at the level that we would have liked. Why? Well, the U.S. hasn't had a centralized effort like many other countries. So what's happening is you're seeing, you know, regional CDCs, you're seeing some health systems uh, all do their own sequencing, but there hasn't been a central effort to coordinate uh, and, and push a mandate for sequencing. Now, Illumina is the world's largest maker of genome sequencing machines. Its CEO, Francis D'Souza, told us he's optimistic that the Biden administration's COVID plan specifically calls for pandemic preparedness and more genome sequencing, Sheb. Hey, Meg, the New York Times is reporting that Pfizer plans to ship fewer vaccine doses. Why and what is that? Right. Well, remember that bonus dose that was found in Pfizer's vaccine vials? They were supposed to contain five doses each, but it turned out you can actually get six doses out. And that meant we'd have 20 percent more supply. Well, The Times is reporting that Pfizer formalized that sixth dose with the FDA and as a result says it's going to deliver fewer vials of the vaccine than originally planned under its contract. Now, the same number of doses, 200 million by July. I've reached out to U.S. health officials to confirm this, but that bonus we thought we got, it sounds like no such luck, Chef. Well, we, we got new guidance from the CDC that you can now mix and match different vaccines. Right. Well, you're supposed to avoid that if you can. The CDC says the Pfizer and Moderna COVID vaccines are not interchangeable, but it did issue new guidance today saying in exceptional circumstances, like if you and your provider can't remember which vaccine you got for the first dose or if the same kind is no longer available when you're due for the second dose, either of the vaccines can be used and you have to space them at a minimum of four weeks apart in that situation. But the CDC says the safety and efficacy of this has not been tested. So really, we should be doing everything we can to try to get the same one the second time. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.